This tutorial is building upon the previous tutorial that shows you how to set up an Apache web server on your Raspberry Pi, how to log into it through your local area network, as well as through an external IP address as if you were at work and trying to access your Raspberry Pi at home. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up PHP, MySQL, and WordPress, and how to uh, configure all of that on your Raspberry Pi. So again, here, my Raspberry Pi is 10.0.1.7, and if I log into it, it displays the index.html file that I created, and this is effectively the website. So we have this already up and running. The next thing we're going to want to do is uh, install PHP. So sudo app-get install php5 in lib apache2 dash mod dash php5, and yes, you want to install it. This will take a moment. All right, great. So now we have PHP installed on our Raspberry Pi. Navigate to the var www folder here. And if you are running the Wheezy uh, distribution of Raspbian, you might see your file index.html here if you're picking up where we left off in the previous tutorial. I, however, am running Jesse. So we want to navigate to the HTML folder here and we will see our index.html file. Well, now that we have PHP installed, let's create a file called index.php, and this will be a simple hello world example uh, website. So we have hello world here, and there you go. So this should just display hello world on our website. We want to save this, and let's try navigating to our website. So I navigate to 10.0.1.7, which is the IP address of our Pi, and we see that we still have the old file, uh, or the, the old content here. So the reason why that is, is because we have both index.html and PHP, and index.html takes priority. So we're going to have to remove it. So sudo remove index.html, oops, and now we have just index.php. I navigate to our website now. There, if I clear my cache, it shows hello world when I log into the direct uh, IP address. So I guess I just had the old content index.html cached there. So now we know that PHP is working and we're going to install MySQL now. So sudo app-get install mysql-server php5-mysql-y. And this will take a moment. Part of the installation will prompt you to set up a password for your MySQL root user. Now I'm just going to use the password Raspberry because that's the standard password for everything Raspberry Pi. We then hit OK and then it's going to prompt you to repeat your password. So I'm using Raspberry. And then it will proceed with the rest of the installation. So back here in our HTML folder, or the www folder, if you're uh, on your Wheezy distribution, what we're going to want to do is change the ownership for Pi, and we want it to own everything. And then we're going to remove everything from this folder. So now we have an empty HTML folder here. Next, we're going to download the latest version of WordPress. So type in wget http uh, colon slash slash wordpress dot org slash latest dot tar dot gz or you can just click the link in the description and download from there so now we should have only one file in our html folder here and that's latest dot tar dot gz well it's a tar file so we're going to have to extract it so tar zxf latest dot tar dot gz this will create a folder here called WordPress that we can navigate into, and it has all the files that we need here. Now, when we visit our IP address of our Raspberry Pi, we don't want to then type in slash WordPress and then access WordPress. We want it to just default to the WordPress um, uh, site. We're going to move the contents of the WordPress folder. We're going to move all the contents of the WordPress folder to the current working directory. And now you can see in our current working directory, we have our WordPress folder here that should be empty. And we have our latest.tar.gz, which we can leave there if we want. 
WordPress requires a MySQL database for it to work properly. So let's create one. Type in MySQL dash U, and then because we kept our username as root, and in my case, I set up my uh, password as raspberry, type in dash U root dash P raspberry. And this will launch MySQL and give you like a command prompt for MySQL into which you will type create database and that database is going to be called WordPress. So it says everything's hunky dory and then you get out of here by uh, hitting control D and that will take you back to your terminal here. So now WordPress should be set up and if you visit your uh, website you may or may not find a error um, and that is because we need to reboot our Apache server. So the way you do that is type in slash etc slash init or sorry wait type in sudo slash etc slash init dot d slash apache2 restart and this will take a moment this will restart your apache2 service allowing uh, everything to be set up correctly or alternatively you could of course reboot your raspberry pi now type in 10.0.1. whatever your ip address is of your raspberry pi and this will take you um, to the installation screen. Excellent, so let's go. All right, so our database name is called WordPress. Our username is going to be root. Our password, I set mine up to be raspberry. We want the localhost database host and w underscore, um, uh, sorry, wp underscore for our table prefix. So hit submit, and this will give you an error. This error is that it can't do it all automatically and we have to do something manually and by default it selects all the code that we need to copy paste over to our Pi for me. So I'm going to copy this to my clipboard and then I'm going to go back to the uh, terminal here on my Raspberry Pi and I'm going to create a new file called wp-config.php and then I will just paste all of that copied off of the um, off of the uh, of the website there and then I'll exit out and I will give this a save. Now if I try to go to this site here so it, so it says after you've done that click run the install so I'll run the install now and it'll set me up here so great let's call uh, let's name this Zans Playground because why not I'll keep the username as root and I'll keep the password as raspberry confirm use of weak password and then an email so the zan show at gmail.com why not please don't use it for yourself and then allow search engines to index this site I'm gonna pass on that for now and then I will install WordPress alright there we have it so login username is root password is raspberry you can change yours of course if you want and I will log in as root with my password being raspberry uh, remember me login and there you have it. So here's WordPress on your Raspberry Pi. If I go to, if I actually visit my site here, we see that it looks really bland and boring and I have a certain WordPress theme here and maybe I want to change that, right? Well, an easy way to change it is I can change my theme completely and I can add a new theme and let's look at something that's popular here. Something that I don't have. Uh, something that looks different. Vantage, okay, sure. So let's take a look at this one here. And we go, oh yes, this looks really good. Let's, uh, let's install that. I hit install here, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna fail. It's gonna say that you need connection information and all this kind of stuff, and this is going to limit your ability to use the WordPress package. So how do you change that? Well, navigate back to the terminal here on your Raspberry Pi and in the folder that everything is hosted in, just type in sudo change the ownership for everything and www.data colon www .da, uh, dash data I should say slash var and then the folder that everything is kept in. In this case it will be the HTML folder. So that will change that. And now let's go back and try, oops. Go back to our dashboard and let's try changing the theme completely and adding a new theme and uh, let's see, uh, there, let's do this one. So we're gonna check this one out. We see that we like it. 
we install it and there we go so now it's downloading the install package it's installing the theme and everything has been successfully installed so now I can go back I can change my theme up if I want to my new theme save it and activate it and there you have it so now my theme has been changed um, for my WordPress account and that's all there is to it setting up a WordPress on your Raspberry Pi hosting it and being able to access it over your local area network or your external IP address I hope you enjoyed this tutorial